Jeff Darling. I am the Purchasing Specialist at Facilities Management in Boulder. What I've come up with is a model for inventory management that involves construction and the general contractors, which is something that we haven't done before. Uh, and I call it the Total Supply Chain Integration Model. One of the things that we never know <clears throat> is what are the physical goods that go into our building. As a supply chain manager, I want suppliers that can provide me what I need. So I came up with the idea to do, a, do a, a map of our general contractor's supply chain to overfit that over the university's strategic supply chain, find out where the matches were, and then go to make sure that we have the best contracting vehicle for the best prices so that my contractors can then buy parts that I have a hand in contract. That will allow us to not only have more control and control our standards, but it is a very large cost savings. I can tell you that the flooring that I've taken care of, and I've done this for two years, it's the oldest one of the model that I have, we're saving over $400,000 a year on flooring in Boulder alone every year for the last two years. And I just did paint. And I did it for one single job last summer, at the end of last summer, and I saved $49,000 just on paint. I would say that it has been something that has unfolded over the course of the last year to year and a half, mostly because as I started on flooring, I thought of it more in the old-fashioned strategic sense. And then as I started looking at paint and then started thinking about, I'd gotten feedback on paint from a number of the contractors, I said, what if I asked them? So that really was probably a year ago when I finally got the idea, go directly to the contractors, go directly to the uh, electrical suppliers and the plumbing suppliers and find out who they use so that I have that opportunity to put those together. Yes, at, at the moment, the scope for this, to, to prove all of this out and get everything plugged in, is for this campus, but I have already worked with, with Anschutz uh, on using strategic suppliers, in other words, the ones that the Procurement Service Center already has set up. And so that model is starting to work already. So when the Procurement Service Center and Dwayne Tucker get strategic reports on savings, some of the stuff that goes to other locations like Colorado Springs or Denver, he gets those savings built into that. But this is kind of a larger scope and it's kind of for the whole campus and all of the buildings and all of the renovations that, that are going forward. Because every time we do a big project now, I want to be able to report on the savings, and we've never done that before. This kind of total top-down supply chain management thing, this is really, it's new and it's really exciting. And the data always tells me, depending upon what the commodity is, it's always feeding me different things to do because it's very dynamic. Some things are already at their maximum discounts, so I'm not going to save a whole lot more. I just want to manage it better. Others have had no discounts applied and, and it's just ripe for the taking. Finding the ones that are easy to control is what I'm doing now. Once I finish the mapping, then I'll know how deep I can go and also where the more difficult things to find will be located. I would say the very next step I'm going to take is I'm going to map the electrical and the plumbing contractors to overlay that over my general contractors. Because they use, sometimes they use a different plumber group and a different electrical group than the ones I have. So if I put all that together, I'll have twice or more than twice as much information. It's an exciting time. I have no idea. I hadn't even thought about that. I really, I'm still thinking about the actual thing versus what would happen if it, it was successful. It's just getting to do it is the, the privilege.